This is a gyaru targeted makeup brand produced by real life gyaru Erufu Arakawa. As you can see, it's very aptly named gals. So I just picked up two items, very simple, very demure. One is a glitter topper and the other one is a really sparkly reflective lip gloss. Let's get into it. So let me go ahead and throw on a simple eyeshadow look first using 01 Eden's Angel palette from the Flower Nose Little Angels collection. I'm just going to prime quickly with Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep the eyeshadow base a very simple flushed beigey pink and we're going to go in with the Agemore Grita in number 2. These names are something else, let me tell you. This one is called Genso Momoiro Tenshi, which translates to Fantasy Pink Angel. Sounds about right for a Gyaru brand. So here's the packaging. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan. It kind of reminds me of those markers that we would use in grade school. I know that it's on purpose, it's meant to fulfill a certain aesthetic, but um, yeah, I'm just not super into it. So I like this glitter though. I've used it a couple of times already. It's very, very, reminds me of confetti on a cake. Cake confetti, if that's even a thing. So you see the base is kind of like a frosty pink and there's a lot of chunky glitters throughout. And now here's the interesting part. So this is double-sided, right? This is the glitter, and on the other side, there's actually a paddle brush. At first, I thought this was some sort of translucent fixing agent to help the glitter stick down or something. I don't know, but, but actually, it is just a really thin silicone paddle of sorts. So what you do is you basically just use it to kind of pat down and spread out the glitter. So that way you can get like a nice thin layer, you can control where the glitter goes. After using this, I actually think it's quite useful and genius, even though it was not what I was expecting at all. I thought that there was going to be another formula of sorts in this end, but no, it's just a paddle. So actually, why don't I just leave this out and I'm going to do my left eye. So you see, instead of like a regular liquid glitter where I would just leave it like this or try to blend it out messily with some brush, I can just use this paddle to spread out the glitter evenly. Okay, I'm gonna rush and do my eyeliner, lashes, and mascara off camera because I do have to go to work after this, but I'm gonna use these lashes. They are pretty long and I just thought this style was very Gyaru-esque. All right, I'm running a little bit late. Eyes are done, lashes on, blush as well. And I think it's time for the gal's lip gloss now, which is officially called the Flash Bae Gloss or Flash Hae Gloss. I think it's Bae. Anyway, um, very typical gyaru term. Bae-ru is kind of like a social media term, which means ostentatious. I don't know if that's the right word, but basically when you take pictures, and you want it to really pop on the gram or something, they'll say that, oh, bairu, bairu, like it's gonna pop. Shine, look pretty. Yeah, I guess shine is the correct translation because it's referring to like the flash of camera lights, essentially. Anyway, this is not a gyaru slang lesson, so let's just continue. I kind of wanted the uh, coral one, but that one was sold out when I went to the stand. This is slightly thinner than I thought, like in the sense that it really clings to your lips. The formula applies really flatly against the lips, is what I'm trying to say. I was expecting more of a classic voluminous gloss, almost like a lip plumper, but it really just coats your lips tightly, which is a good thing, you know, if you want your lip gloss to stay on. And, and I am quite pleased that even though it's a flatter formulation, it's not emphasizing my 
lip wrinkles or anything that badly. Although that could also be just the high glitter content masking stuff, but no, I think it looks really cute. It's less flashy than I thought. Or maybe it's just because I'm rocking a very basic aesthetic today, but see, it's like not as pink as in the tube, right? I feel like it's a little bit dulled down by my natural lip color. Hmm, it has like a light grapefruit scent as well. I really enjoy it. But yeah, anyway, this is the final look. I guess you could say I'm Gyaru light for the office today. So yeah, overall, I really like this gal's brand so far. Surprisingly, I feel like the lip gloss is the standout. I thought it was gonna be the glitter, but it's just like a regular glitter. I do love this glitter. Um, like I said before, it really reminds me of cake confetti. And I love that she added the, you know, specialized, the silicone paddle thing to help you control the application. I thought that was really genius. I'm gonna probably keep this even after I finish up the glitter just so that I can continue using the paddle. But the thing is like, you can, you can use this on any liquid glitter pretty much, right? There's so many good ones on the market. So while it is a really, really good glitter, I feel like the lip gloss actually turned out to be the item that exceeded my expectations today because again, it's not that typical gloopy, thick lip gloss formula that we're used to. It's much more thin and spreadable. And although the formula is super blinding and glittery, you see it's pretty much packed with glitters. It doesn't feel gritty at all. And I also appreciate that it doesn't look cheap, especially this color, because sometimes the Barbie pinks or the hot pinks, depending on what kind of undertone you have, it can look a little bit cheap, mostly just because of the shade, I think like if it looks too neon but somehow i feel like this shade really does look cute and classy and not cheap at all i kind of want to get the other shades of the lip gloss now that's so interesting i really thought the glitter was going to be the standout item today but things are not always what they appear at first sight all right so i hope you enjoyed that quick little review of the brand gals thank you so much for watching as usual and i'll see you next time